Well, the LAUSD has now abandoned its plans to open dozens of family resource centers during the school shutdowns that we're seeing right now. The national guidelines have changed, forcing LAUSD to make some changes to its plan as well. Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Brown has more on what this means for students and their families. While students are out of school, a number of local districts are offering free meals. And during this difficult time, the last thing educators want is for students to worry about where their next meal will come from. Good morning. Good morning. Linwood School District is providing a drive through of its own. All schools across the district are closed for at least two weeks, but students in the area 18 and under can walk or drive up to get a free breakfast and lunch, whether they are enrolled in the Linwood district or not. It helps a lot of people, like, like, don't, like if their parents are at home and like, there's no like, food right now at home, they could just come over here, get food, like, it'll be so easy. 400 meals were handed out Monday. By Tuesday, nearly 100 families took advantage of the program in the first hour of opening. A lot of parents look you know, forward to this. Not everybody's blessed to be able to go out and buy groceries for their families. Free meals consisting of muffins, PB&Js, fruits and veggies are offered every weekday morning from 8 to 10 a.m. Linwood High, Cesar Chavez Middle, and Rosa Parks Elementary are just a few of the locations participating. Across California, there's a lot of families who are struggling, and here in Linwood, we have about 90% of our families who qualify for the free and reduced meals. Linwood Superintendent says the program will span the entire length of the district's closure. LAUSD will open 60 grab-and-go food centers Wednesday, operating from 7 to 10 a.m. every weekday. Santa Monica Malibu Unified and Orange County Unified School Districts are providing free meals to students as well. Reporting in Linwood, Rachel Brown, ABC7 Eyewitness News.